Exclamation everybody and welcome to Exotic Matter. It's in early access on Steam. It's by Mobius Games and is currently actually in the Steam, uh, participating in the Steam Winter Sale for 70% off at $5.99, normally 20 bucks US. It's a uh, Minecraft meets a puzzle game with some adventure stuff, I guess, um, is, is the best way I can put it. Um, building is not the, uh, you know, if Minecraft is to building as this is to adventure games, I guess, is, is the best <laughs> simile, simile I can come up with there. Um, yeah, it, it's an uh, interesting concept, early alpha. Um, I've played maybe five minutes of it. It's a little rough around the edges. It is an alpha. It is in early access. So let's all give it a little bit of a break. Um, but uh, in any event, let's uh, let's start a brand new mission, and uh, we can give it a random mission name: Red Nifty Space Ranger. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, and we'll just do a random. Actually, you know what? I always like to do one of my own here. So let's do eight six. Oops, eight. Ooh, ooh, okay, eight six. Ooh, you're not. You don't like the number pad, huh? Eight six six. No. Oh, it's got to be in hex, or is it? Oh, well, that sucks. I can't just like. Oh no, there it goes. What the heck? Eight six. Well, let me do six. But it'll let me do seven and nine. <laughs> that's that's weird. Uh, two, three, four. Five and six it won't let me actually use. Seven and eight I can use, but it's not doing... <laughs> that's that's strange. That's real strange. It won't be, let me use the number five or six. All right, well, we can't do eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine like I normally do, so we'll just uh, do that and hit start. Okay, so we've started out in a cryopod here. We'll stand, walk away, walk out of there. And uh, I think right mouse button opens that door. Okay. And right away we have a little bit of a puzzle, just a slight one. It's trying to introduce me to the game. Uh, so we got UI for this block. We've got this one here, Mission Status EXE. Uh, current date, Human Era 12039.0801. 12,000, year 12,000. Uh, user backup support, UNSS Criterion is the craft. And find Vilex on planet uh, Sidlin, I guess, is our mission. Hello, backup support. I am Sister. This, the UNSS Criterion's onboard support AI may be experiencing short term memory loss after nano sleep. For Operation Exotic Matter, the crew of the Criterion traveled to planet. Z I'm going to say silent, but I, we'll see if that's the case. Uh, to find the rare resource of Violex, as far as we can tell, uh, the planet is the only planet to harbor this resource. Violex will enable humanity to do things, I guess, that are awesome and great, but I didn't get to read all that, but okay. Um, so, uh, right mouse button to open UI. And we've got a battery. So... We need a battery for this. Let's go in here. There's a cargo box with a battery in it. So we'll take that battery. And we'll come on over here. And we'll place the battery in there. Which opens the door for us. And gives us a... <laughs> mission... A job well done... Uh, sound. Alright, log EXE. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Don't open this door except in absolute emergencies. I know we trained with it, but we can't trust it as much as we trust each other. Okay, so they don't trust me. The crew don't trust me. Also, I like the, uh, you got the windows that are, you can only kind of see through <laughs> instead of fully see through. Another battery there, it looks like it needs to be powered. And we've got another... 
cargo box. It's got uh, some teal nuts, silicon, and a some credits. It looks like. I'll take those. And not keep that in my hand because it looks weird. You can craft some stuff in your own suit inventory system. For instance, drag some fruits, three teal nuts will do, and some silicon into the bottom crafting slot on your inventory, and it should automatically make a battery. Okay. And I'll wait for it to continue. To make more complex, powerful stuff, I'll make it easy for you. See the big machine to the right? Feed it an item blueprint and it will ask for the required materials. If you have the right stuff, hit the button and it will spit out the revel relevant item. It's called a replicator. Don't ask me any more dumb questions about it. <laughs> okay. So we got ourselves a replicator there. We also have the teal nut thing. So if I bring up my inventory and I throw this and this down there we get a battery and um you know just that up i guess there we go and i can put that in here to power the door so we can get out all right and we got a we got a, a vending machine that i can't interact with we also have this door over here which is what? Receiving waypoints. Okay. Just give me a waypoint of some kind. And another little log here. Ship was busted up in the crash. Use the emergency drilling laser in this box to damage cracked walls. Okay. So over here we'll grab... Uh, we got... Blueprints for an emergency drilling laser and a blueprint for a class 2 drilling laser. I'll grab those. And I should be able to go here into my inventory. How do I... I just have to hit number 1, okay. And then... Where are these cracked walls? There we go. Else we got here. We've got uh, ignimbrite volcanic eruption residue. You can find us this tough immediately below any layer of stand. I think they mean stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, and this log over here should give us some information. As you can see, the port side elevator shaft had to be dismantled after the crash. In case you end up in here, collect the blocks from the container nearby, equip them, and use left click to place them. Build your way back up. Okay. There's that. There's a, some more damaged stuff here. Um, so, come over here. So, can I just like... There it is. Alright, and then we'll just place these down. Now, unlike Minecraft, you can't just jump uh, on top of it and build yourself up. It's kind of weird that way. So, what we have to do is make ourselves a pathway here the hard way. There we go. Like that and like that. Cool. All right, what else do we have? Another mission status block. Uh, come on. Yeah, I, I don't think they really need to give us all this this header stuff constantly. I was just restating my mission. Okay. Yeah. I spent a lot of time just staring at that thing as it repeats the same information over and over again. I get that it's an in-game universe thing, but, you know, time's, time's money here. 
Um, again with this, Kelvin just sent to uh, watching Sandra program a replicator was like magic being performed before your eyes. Thus far, the best I've managed was a working battery combined two teal nuts and some silicon to print one of those. If Sandra were around, she'd conjure an entire reactor while single handedly beating me at uh, Zavon. Okay. Uh, then we got one of these. Is this a. Yes, this is a container. Wedge of LEDs in it, as well as credits, it looks like. And we got. Vite and Umani, sparkling beverage made from carnivorous plants, increases my health metric by 10, I think it said there, yeah. Okay. And so they give us some light panels. And we have another door that we can look through. Is this the door I went through earlier? There's a bunch of cryopods in here. And, okay, interesting. Um, so I guess we go, let's go up here real fast and look around. Is this the way I came in? Doesn't feel like the way I came in, it looks different. What is all in this log? Despite knowing that the Criterion is little more than an experiment, I still struggle to understand why every room is a brain teaser. I stood here like a fool shooting my emergency laser at the sensor panel through the window until I realized I had to literally throw an object, T, at it. Energy beam wouldn't cut it. Writing that down, it sounds rather obvious. So, there's a thing over there I need to throw an object at, is that what they're telling me? If I do T? Yep. Yep, there is. All right, and then credits, LED tube, some more Ingham Bright and SCOM, a short range command override modular, SCOM for short, lets you change the properties of blocks like add or remove frequency chips, swap computer programs on servers, uh, and I think that's supposed to be etc. not and ampersand C. <laughs> I'm thinking anyway. I mean, I might be wrong on that. And then through here, we've got another log. Some time away here. Hamilton reports widespread communications disruptions in the planet's atmosphere. Cities gravitational disturbances ordered more data. Also ordered establishment of repeater stations across planet service in a 200 meter radius. Okay, so I should know if I go on the surface, there will be things in the 200 meter radius. This is locked. This door is locked. Locked very tight. So, what must I do? Is there another, uh, we'll get, we didn't go through this door. This goes down. All right. Let's go down to. Uh, is this like a? Is this the command deck down here? Oh, a lot of vending machines. What is this? Ooh, storage. Uh, more blocks. And more LED tubes. Okay. And credits and light blocks. And some duct tape. Man's best friend. Duct tape. What is this log here? And sometime today it'll get to the log. I know the Criterion was an experimental ship, but why leave an empty... Empty something on the ship's bridge? Just why? Perhaps the crew... Block the path for a reason? There's a small room on the far side. Am I leaving empty trowel? Is that what that is? I don't know what they were trying to say there. Um, this looks like a diagram of the ship. I can't uh, interact with it though. I can't interact with that either. 
Uh, oh, is this like a cargo bay or something? Like a shuttle bay or something? I can't uh, get over the other side, huh? Let's say place a block down. Okay. Something out there. Um. That says, is this the door I came in through? I think so. I think it is. Um, maybe not, because the door closed behind me. Uh, so this room demands even weight distribution. If it's out of balance, the door won't open. I had to place a block on the yellow floor marker. Better keep an eye out for more of these. Just wish it hadn't taken me three hours to work this out. No. Oh. Okay, so it's introducing me to more... more concepts. Okay. I have not been in this room before. <laughs> the answer to that question. Over here. Access card. Use this on an access terminal to switch it. Oh, unlocking a door. Uh, there happened to be a locked door over the other side. So perhaps we can use this to our advantage. What is this? I am getting some frame rate hitches. Um, Again, it's alpha, so, you know, be kind. Uh, this is a replicator. Okay. Uh, we got more more boxes here with blueprint. Blueprint, blueprint, blah, 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 blah. blueprint shelter wall one. All right. Uh, electronic boards. What is this? Frequency chip emits radio signals on a range of frequencies. Plug one of these into a transmitter object and one into a receiver to connect the two devices. May have unexpected results. And a switch. Okay, so like wall switches. Got it. And power cell blueprints and LED tubes and things. Okay. And this one down here has some credits in it. And it looks like we've got a log or something here. Strange noises outside. Don't sound friendly. This laser won't do the trick. So I threw together the freshly dubbed teal nut cannon. Take one emergency drill, an empty power cell, and a vite can, and wrap it all together with duct tape. Uses teal nuts as ammunition and hits surprisingly hard. Smith would be proud. Any empty power cell, a vite can, and duct tape. Oh, there's a second log? Uh. Done. I dub thee the teal nut cannon. In the emergency drill as a stock, I took an empty power cell and a vite can. And wrapped it all together with duct tape. So, empty power cell, vite can, emergency drill. Okay. I can't emergency drill. So, I come over here. Um, duct tape, emergency drill, vite can. And a empty power cell, right? Uh, I need to make a power cell first. Yeah, let's make a power cell first. Where's the blueprint power cell empty? What do I need? Have the correct components. Um. Oh, I have to just... Oh, that's right. I have to right-click on it to put it in the, in the replicator. Um, so I need electronic boards and silicon. Well, I don't have those yet. Uh, 
uh, did I just try boards, shelter wall, power cell, um, oh, I, what do I need for electronic boards? Silicon and silver. Okay. Silicon and silver, you say. Alright. And how about the emergency drilling laser? Electronic boards and three batteries. Six electronic boards and three batteries for that. So we'll have to look around and see. If I can find things. The, I've been through this place already, okay. Interesting. Um, at least it looks like I've been through that place already. So then... What is this? I don't know what that is. Can I... Look in these containers, I might have. No, they're empty. Well, I guess I did. Okay, that's an elevator. Where does it take you, though? There's nothing up there. Huh. That must be for... That must be for something like... I don't know. Storage or something. And that looks like the outside world there. Uh, that door is not working. Okay, so we need to gather some materials, I think. This is partially working. Looks like. How do I get this to, to go up? Do I hit that again? Okay. Not the uh, easiest thing to do. Oh, that was okay. That was the elevator that uh, that was broken. Right. Right. Now I'm back up here again. Somehow I got back down there. I don't know how I even got back down there. I do know, though, that we have a wall here that I could break through. I think. At least try to break through. Okay, what's here? Silver and duct tape. That might be what we needed. Uh, that. And then there's another room here. I don't think I can get through this. Can I get through this, this thing here? No, it's not strong enough to get me through there. Um... If I could hit that... We figure that door's probably gotta be around this way, right? Ah, here it is. Okay. And here was that locked door I couldn't get through. But now I can, so let's, uh, where's my... Where's my key at? Access card, here we go. That not, oh, here we go. That must mouse button to use access card, there we go. And, class two drilling laser, shelter wall, and blue grenade, okay. I'll take those. Oh, I can use the vending machines. I have to have the credit chip in my in my hand. Uh, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, I see. That's not very intuitive. <laughs> I get what they're going for, but it's not very intuitive. You gotta kind of 
Because everything else, because you kind of figure like right click will do the default action. And if I have credits in my inventory, why wouldn't I just automatically use them? Like every other game that's in existence. Uh, okay, this is weird and interesting. So this log here. We suddenly outside. Tried some of the bulbous, tough skin fruit hanging from uh, the plant's trees. I dubbed them teal nuts. It tasted just like Hydrocorp's Vite Pie, probably thanks to my current state of borderline starvation. I wonder if I can work out how to make DIY Vites. Okay. Oh, I thought, I thought something was running around. That's the music. <laughs> um, author, come on, come on. Do we have to do all these freaking... I'm a psychologist, not a chemist, but I managed it. Take two pieces of teal nut and add some water. Homemade vite. There could be a market for teal nut vite back on Earth. It's still there when I return. Okay. I don't really want to venture out fully just yet. I kind of want to... I don't want to... Keep that for later, because that's like it. So that's an airlock, because the other door closed. So that's good. Uh, I kind of want to make this other thing if I can. What is this? Oh, this was the block that I threw a, a box at. Okay. Um, so I gotta go back downstairs. Yeah, back downstairs. This area. That's right. I did come down into this area from above, didn't I? Uh, and I want to make a. I want to see if I can make a um, make this thing here. So uh, drawing laser. We got we got silver now, right? So electronic boards, shelter wall. Um, I don't have any silicon. I have silver, but I don't have any silicon, right? Um, so I guess I do have to go out and find some. The silicon to use, I guess. I don't, I don't think I have any around here. I'm pretty sure that's what it needed. What was in here again? Oh, this was the the elevator leading back up again. Okay. Um, and then we got this door that I can't get through apparently. Hmm. All right. Well, um, I could go out this way too, couldn't I? This is all exposed over here. It's probably easier to just go out the way, <laughs> go out through the front door. Um, so let's go do that. It was through here. Right? No, this is my. What's that? Where was that at? It's um, over here, right? In the unlocked door. Yep. All right. Let's see if I can find some silicon then, maybe. Uh, possibly. What is this? I don't know what that was. Oh, sand. Okay. Very dark here. I guess that's why they gave me so many of these light blocks, right? Do they work? <laughs> well, yeah, they work if you place them down. So instead of placing torches, I'm placing light blocks. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Um... I can't get through. I don't know what that is that I'm hearing. 
Probably don't. Okay. Um. This is a little weird. Can't see. Can't see anything. I'm down here. Um, I guess we better use some building blocks, huh? That's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, can I... stay on a block is not easy it's very uh, it's very finicky here let's just put me <laughs> up on the same level as this here didn't I just come this way yeah, I literally just came that way <laughs> I went down yeah that's right I went down there um, okay. So what can I do? What is that there? Some darkness over here. What is this? Something I can't mine. Great. Great. back into the ship here. Oh, it might be at some point. But these lights don't do jack and or all, do they? This is something purple down there. So I guess we can take a look at that. how these are directional too. <laughs> the worst. Uh, there's a lot of stuff down there. It looks like there might be maybe some resources. I don't know if I can mine them yet, but uh, I would certainly like to try. now. Uh, that's a little bit better as far as lights go. Okay, what is this? Acquiring minds must know. Whatever it is, I can't mine it with this. I need a bigger... It's probably why I gotta make that other drill, I bet. Yeah, I bet I gotta make this other drill that I have a blueprint for. We got a nice cavern with some, some stuff in it, whatever this stuff is. Yeah, let's see if I can get... Oh, I used up all my lights. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I gotta go up this way anyway. There we go. And... I guess I go back up this way. Yeah, this looks like the right way, I think. What is this? Just a dead end. down there where was the 
the ship at now? And so... So turned around. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which way I'm going anymore. Everything looks so similar. I mean, this is the ship here, right? So I'm, like I'm standing on it, just not uh, finding the. There it is. There's the entrance. I don't know. This is that like the shield I'm seeing there or something. I guess that that's just the shield that I'm seeing. Alright, um... Where was that replicator at? Is it over... Uh, there was one... There's one here, right? Is this a replicator? No, this is... That is nothing. But a red herring. Um... That's the door we just came in. Oh, it's down here? Somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Um, so what I want to do is make the Class 2 drilling laser. What do I need for that? Uranium. Electronic boards. God damn, everything needs electronic boards and... Electronic boards. What do I need for that? I need silicon. So where the hell am I going to find? Uh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit frustrating right now. When they they lock something important behind this nonsense like this. Um, looks like it's becoming. Coming nighttime, maybe. Like, how would I know what uh, what it looks like? I mean, you know, I played a lot of Minecraft and everything, and I, I get that when I first played Minecraft, I didn't know where anything was at or how to do anything. Yeah, the ship's just like completely open in this one section here. Is this the section that? Is behind that door? Yeah, that door that I couldn't open. What is this? Six new stars, meanings in the stars. The Lem visitor wasn't hostile. It carried information. Some of which was urgent. The message was clear. Something bad was coming. This was our only lifeline. The handful of Lem resources and directions would help us reach safety. Come on. Any day now. <laughs> By 2037, the experimental faster than light craft, the Criterion was completed and departed for its Vilex rich destination. The assumed Lem homeworld. Uh, okay. That's it, huh? What's in here? Surface teleporter. Ooh. Place this platform, stand on it, you'll teleport straight to the ground level. For getting out of deep places of entrapment. Oh, I see. Oh, this is good. So I can uh, I can take the surface teleporter with me, and it'll automatically teleport me back from the. If I'm down in a cave, it'll teleport me back up to the surface. What is that up there? Six new stars, three of four. Star to fourth. This payload provided a diagram. Eh, you know what? I don't feel like reading all that right now. Nothing in that cargo box. Nothing in that cargo box. Or that one. Okay. So this is the door that we couldn't get through because there's no power. Um, so we have a surface teleporter, which is interesting. That skybox is really cool looking. I like the, when you get outside here, I like the colors and stuff. I like how it's all put together there. I gotta see what that is. That looks like a beacon of some kind. Oh, is this just water? Water that was just being held in place? Hmm. 
That's weird. I don't know if I'm allowed to walk in it or not. I mean, you think I would be able to, but I guess we'll we'll find out one way or the other. Let's just not deal with it right now. What I want to do is go up there. Oh, we got critters walking around here. That's fun times. Let's not piss too many things off on our first day here. Especially since I don't have anything to shoot them with. This is... This block standing mechanics suck. Like, in Minecraft, when you stand on a block, you, you pretty much stick to it. Right? Unless you walk off. This one is like, if you just slightly, ever so slightly move towards the edge, it just slides you down constantly, and that's just annoying as hell. Uh, how does one get up here? Oh, I guess I could just uh, build some blocks, huh? How does one get up here in a building mechanics game? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe throw some blocks down? You yeah, dummy? A little light here, too. Find this again. Okay, let's. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I should uh, probably <laughs> put the more sensitive thing on here. this seriously this this sliding mechanic sucks big time like just make the character stick to a block and just stop it with the with the uh, yeah you know, you're you're slightly falling here you're slightly falling. Okay. What is this? Signal detected. Waypoint added. Report to solar. Map update. Look at it. Location. Signal A. Press M to open map. Okay. The gravitational disturbances that threw us into the planet's crust aren't limited to interplanetary space. Apparently, our inatmo transmissions reach barely any distance, like they're being refracted into the ground. I've set up these repeater antenna stations around the peninsula so it can communicate over longer distances. Oh, and there's a bunch more added <laughs> to my to my waypoints. Um, repeater antenna stations will also constantly run sweeps for any new signals or transmissions. We need to check these periodically. If they find anything interesting, report back to Solder immediately. The newest signals will appear at the top of the log. Okay. So, M? Oh, I see. So here's home, signal one, two, three, four, and five. What does this do? Location, oh, I can make map location names. Oh, that's cool. And then, what does that do? I don't know what that button did. Oh, I put the labels on, right? Or did it just recenter? Oh, it's just recentering to me, I guess. Okay. So we're in quadrant and sector, I guess. Okay. Um, cool. We've done that. There's some trees over there. Feel kind of naked ha not having punched any trees yet. <laughs> it's, it's usually what you do in these games, right? Uh, let's put a light down here. What I need to do is find some silicon. And I'm not sure how I'm going to find it. Oh, there's another. There's the other beacon over there. Maybe I should just go to it. The map's not that big then, from what I can see. Hmm. 
interesting. We'll come over here. And just uh, this crazy tree. Bunch of crazy trees. Crazy zigzag trees. enough lights behind so I can find my way back. I mean, I have the map, so technically I can just use the map to find my way back, but still. It'd be nice to not have to constantly refer to it. So I think this thing is above me. I come up here. And let's build... A block. Like so. Let's see where I'm standing. Oh, there's my inventory on. I'm like, where the heck is my. I'm looking around like, where the heck is my inventory slots at? And they're over on the right. And I didn't even. I didn't even notice them. You know what it is? The right. The right side of my screen there is where my microphone is. So I've been just kind of not even noticing that it's over there. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I'm like, where are these things at? And then I'm just noticing now I have like what looks like shields and power. Um, down on the bottom left hand side. So uh, UI design is... is um, certainly different. I, I don't know that I would, uh, I mean, while I get that it's, it's nice to not have your, your view cluttered. Um, sometimes it's nice also to follow the same pattern that everyone else follows just because it's what players expect. Just saying, just, just saying, you don't have to, but it would be be useful to. There you go. Get our way back up there again. I'd like to know what that noise is that I keep hearing. Maybe I don't want to know what that noise is. Maybe that's maybe that's some enemy that's shooting at me. Um, how do I get over to there from here? Wow, this is just, you know, there's, there's terrain and then there's like unnavigable terrain. And this is, this kind of takes the cake of unnavigable terrain here. Um... I don't... Well, I guess we're going down here. Yep. I guess that's what we're doing. Not a fan. If you're going to go through the trouble of generating terrain, generate some that's that's useful here. This is just annoying trying to build bridges to get over to where you want to get over to. another one can't find her Sandy one of our antennae picked up a signal and she decided to investigate by striding into danger most likely always taking the initiative we're going to split into search parties and go looking well you 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 do that oh, there's some blueprints and stuff here and batteries Side door. I wonder, uh, I bet there was another container, cargo container on that other one over there that I didn't look at or didn't see. Okay, this is, yeah, this is just freaking annoying. <laughs> it really is. It's like, you know what? Generate some damn terrain for, for 
God's sake. This is not terrain generation. This is just nonsense. Uh, oh boy. This is just... <laughs> I'm, I am not enjoying this right here. I am not enjoying this at all. Uh, come on. I guess I could probably theoretically use that teleporter, right? But I, I don't know if it's going to teleport me back to the pad or if it'll only just teleport me directly to the surface. Okay, so now we're back on solid ground so I haven't seen I, I still <laughs> I don't know where I would look for the silicon but uh, I don't think I've found any yet hey, there's a box here oh, electronic boards there we go that's that's what I've been looking for okay so, if I get back to the ship, because I think I only needed three for the drill. <sighs> the heavy sigh should tell you that this is what I think of this here. Okay. Um, the hell is the ship at now? It's got to be over there, right? Better question is, where the hell am I on this map? Oh, there I am. This way? I'm facing away from home? It was back that way? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's right. I followed this uh, river around. Right, I walked around this this water. I guess this is water. Yeah, oh yeah, it's water. <laughs> it's definitely water. Okay, so is this am I uh, is home over here or did I go too far? Because this looks like the ship. I feel like if I follow this around find the uh, way back in or not you know that that's also a thing I don't have any more lights do I there's some I think there's some ore here. It looks like there is, but I can't, I don't have any light to see with. All right. Where the frick is this? Jesus Christ, this is just, this is just bonkers. Couldn't have just spawned me on like a flat freaking plane somewhere, right? And to put it all this nonsense. Well, there's a tunnel I've been down, I think. Oh man, it's like five hours just to find your damn way back here. There we go. Jesus. <laughs> That's just annoying. That is just super annoying. All right. If I come over here now, do I have enough to make the class two drilling laser? I need six electronic boards. I still need uranium for it too. Really? How the hell do you get <laughs> uranium and stuff? 
Um, and remove frequency chips, swap computer programs on servers. Surface teleporter, cutting edge human technology, place this platform, stand on it, you'll be you'll teleport straight up to ground level. Yeah, that doesn't really help me. Blueprint for glass blocks, shelter wall, electronic boards. Did I make any electronic boards? No, I still don't have any silicon. <laughs> How does one make silicon? Imagine you don't. Imagine you just have to find it. Uh, can I make light blocks at least? Shelter wall, sand, uh, shrink boards, switchable light block, switch. I guess the switchable light block is what I want. The wedge of LEDs was going to be switched on and off remotely. Fine. Well, that's something anyway. Not really helping me. <laughs> Not really helping me all that much, but it's something. The wall, silver, switch. I mean, maybe we can find. Like I thought I saw something over here that might be useful. So let's put a. Why isn't that? Wait, what? Wait, what? No, I want. those lights not on like all the other light blocks were on when I placed them there's something here and I can't freaking see it there you go now it's on the hell why wouldn't it have been on before okay that's so weird uh, so no, I didn't see anything. I thought I saw like a, a pattern, like a texture pattern there that would be like some kind of resource, but uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't at all. Trying to navigate these things is also not... Not great. Um, yeah, I'm damn stumped. Like, it feels like I'm supposed to be able to progress from here, and uh, damned if I can progress any, any which way. Like, they've given me lots and lots of blueprints, but no way of getting the resources that I need. Like, does this, does this, like, I can't, this mining laser doesn't work on most of the blocks here. Except for sand, which, uh, you know, whoop de doo I can make some glass. Big deal. Right? Like... And where are these guys? They're carrying blocks around with them. What are they doing? Just picking up blocks and taking them? I don't... They don't seem to be... They don't seem to be, uh hostile right now, so I'm not going to press my luck with them. And I would be more than happy to go exploring and finding things, but god damn, this terrain is terrible. Like, just absolutely, like, I don't, there's no fun in navigating this. I'm sorry. This is just too much of a chore. Like, give me some rolling hills at any, any, any which way. To Sunday here. This is just not. I mean, 
and you get lost very easily because it's you can't see anything everything's all over the place you know you got a map and everything it's still trying to find a needle in a haystack once you get to a place on the map you know about now I'm hearing some kind of loud banging might be just the music I don't I'm not sure but can I can I destroy this tree I'm not gonna do that what do you do does that give me anything no oh it gave me teal nut oh there's some teal nuts down there okay well that's how I get teal nuts Okay, so water doesn't spread. That's why the water looked all weird. Um, am, I, am I going the right way? Which way am I going? So I want to go towards this guy. So, okay, so I have a little mini map there. Which will point me in that direction. So I'm, I'm glad to at least have a, a mini map. Map is is useful. So that's nice. I guess I will just go this way and see what is in the other. Because this other uh, beacon probably has a cargo container with it. Uh, assuming I can get there somehow. Okay, it's back this way. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. Uh, audio is also cutting out a little bit. I think they only have one audio channel or two audio channels like two sound effects can play at once kind of thing going on All right, trying to make stair steps is just not working out for me it would be fine if, if it was it was Minecraft where you could just you could just oh for frick's sake really oh my god I just this is annoying like it'd be different like in Minecraft you could jump up and place a block underneath you you can't do that here and it's ugh, which makes this navigation even that much more worse ugh. you don't want your you don't want your uh you can place things way far away, can I? Just a note to developers. You don't want to frustrate your players. Because <laughs> they'll just stop playing. Um, and that's kind of what I feel like here. It's like, do I really want to go through the pain of trying to get up to this goddamn thing? And really, uh, the answer I'm coming up with is, no, not really. <laughs> it's, you know, on the premise that I might actually find something useful here <sighs> all right let's get up here I guess I'm not even worried about making a stair step that I can get back down from <laughs> I'm really not at this point. Dark as hell, too. Okay, where the hell is this thing at? It's right up there. Am I out of blocks, really? <sighs> That, there's that heavy sigh again. <laughs> uh, 
uh, I'm at my, I'm at my, in case you haven't, haven't uh, figured it out by now, I'm at my breaking point here. Um, let's just put this there. I mean, I like me some sandbox building games, but this is just, and I like the puzzle aspects of this and everything else. I really like what they're, what they're doing with that, but God damn, I don't want to navigate this place. I really don't. Oh, here we go. Here's six electronic boards, frequency chips, and another blueprint. I mean, I got all the blueprints in the world, but it's just <laughs> then going back and getting back to the mothership and then trying to do all this, put all this stuff together and only to find out I don't have enough and... Hamilton and his shortcuts. Everything must be automated. Streamlined. Done by hands other than his own. As he never shunted against the matter of the universe, felt the flush of friction, muscles popped, sweat flooding from your pores as you lift, bend, and twist. Uh, okay. I propped the unit up, hit the SCOM, and watched this antenna unfurl itself. Some gunmetal giraffe extending its neck up into the sky. Hamilton says it'll help us communicate and pick up any signals on the planet. Let's see what we find. Okay. Are you done? I guess you're done. Everything out of there. Um, the skybox is beautiful. I just wish... I could appreciate it more instead of just constantly ha burying my nose in in blocks here, trying to trying to just walk five five meters. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can't even you can't even appreciate the terrain the, the aesthetics because it's just annoying as as hell here. Yeah, yeah. I jump in the in the water. Am I just stuck in the water now? I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just stuck in the water now, guys. Don't, don't worry about me. Send, send a rescue ship. <laughs> so I have to cut. That's just okay. I mean, some of this is is due to it being early access. I get that. And, you know, that's fine and, and dandy, but, um, yeah, this, this whole thing's got to just <laughs> be redone. <laughs> this whole terrain generation has got to be thrown in a garbage can and completely rethought because this is not, this is not going to fly this way. This is just too annoying. Unless they intend on just giving me a jetpack and saying, "Here, fly, fly around the place," then I'd say, "Okay, fine. I can, I can deal with this being the way that it is." But oh, well, they almost, almost went to my death there. Um, is that another one that I haven't actually looked at yet? It is, I bet. Somehow lucked my way into finding one that looks like it's on solid ground for a change. Oh, there's my there's my ship. All right. Okay. Hey, I can actually see the ship for a change. That's fun. Let's see. Just for the sake of argument, let's get over to. Oh my. Yeah. Right. Just for sake of argument, let's get over to this thing. There's another light there. So that's where the one, that's where the water is encroaching. Oh, man. All right, let's just... Oh, screw this. Jump down. Yeah, big deal. <laughs> Cry me a river about falling, I don't care. Oh, all right. 
right, around this way we go. <laughs> That's the most frustrating thing too, is you see it, you see right where you need to go, but <laughs> it takes you 90 minutes just to build a freaking bridge over there. Get to it. All right, there we go. Well, this is, see, now this, this terrain here is fine. Why can't you have this terrain going everywhere? Why is, why is it not sense over there? You know what I mean? Like if you just had it like kind of rolling hills like this a little bit with a few caves and stuff, you know, take the best of Minecraft. There's a reason why people love Minecraft so much, right? The terrain generation was, at least in the old Minecraft, was fantastic. You know, like, you don't have to make your game inaccessible by frustrating the bejesus out of everybody. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Alright, what is this? Blueprint, server, memory chip, flip-flop, button, and more silver. Alright, and then... Studying this world is like trying to build a coherent image by looking through a kaleidoscope. One collects naught but jigsaw pieces and upside down fragments. Oddity the first. Smith and I observed some water anomalies near the ship. Ballooning, spiraling portions of water above the surface. Elongating up and then pirouetting like a spinning top. Was it caused by some kind of organism or technology beneath the surface? The fluid itself is even water. Did it create this motion autonomously? Well, whatever that fluid is, it's it's annoying. <laughs> Along with much much of the other stuff here. Yeah, see now this. <laughs> now see, sorry, I I just happened to look over and. My uh, um, Google Assistant apparently was flashing. I don't know if it was triggering on something I said. <laughs> I just had to look over and I saw the dots. I'm like, what? Uh, is that listening in for some reason? Is the, are the developers listening in on my, on my live commentary? <laughs> now see, yeah. Now the train's getting bonkers again. But for a little while there, they had a really good thing going. With the way the terrain was laid out. Now it's back to being nonsense. All right. Well, um, I think I'm going to stop here because this is just this is just driving me insane now. <laughs> I they've got a long way to go. Um, I like the basic concepts. Um, you know, I, I do like me some, some sandbox games. I don't like the hardships of navigating this place. I think this is just bullshit. <laughs> I really do. I don't think that this is, is a lot of fun. Um, there might be a class of person who, who hates themselves enough that they like this kind of terrain generation. I am not that person. So, um... Also, I mean, locking most of the crafting stuff behind resources that you can't really easily obtain seems like a bad idea. I, what is he carrying? I don't even know what the hell he's carrying. I hear these guys zooming around. I don't even know what the hell they're carrying. Um, so things like that. Uh, there's there's a lot of... And again, I get that it's, it's, it's early access and everything. There's a lot of quality of life things they're going to have to do here, and, and I think the big one is going to be the terrain gen has to be wrangled in and made to actually be normal and not crazy. Um, some of the blocks respond to right-click, while others require you to have something in your hand to left-click to do it, which is uh, an inconsistency that I don't think serves any good purpose. Um, so they might want to fix that, like the vending machines, I should be able to just right click on them and as long as I have credits in my inventory, be able to use them. 
Uh, it shouldn't be, you know, hold this thing in your hand because there's no indication that that's really what you need to do. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw this. I, I fall. I'm going to fall down here. There we go. <laughs> that works. That works well for me. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway, friends, this has been Exotic Matter. Is that all it's going to do is just be... Do that. Um, leave, leave planet. <laughs> I guess we'll leave the planet. Um, yeah, this, my friends, has been Exotic Matter. It is by Mobius Games. I think the game has frozen on me. It is by Mobius Games. It is currently 70% uh, off at uh, $5.99 US, normally $20 US. It is in early access. And as always, I will leave links down in the description. Yeah, this game is not happy right now. I will leave links down in the description uh, to, so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.